my name is Mohadesa Rajayrad and I'm here to teach you material assignment in Mimic software. To do this, you must first export the meshed model from another software such as Dreamatic or Hypermesh or whatever you want. In this example, I'm using .inp file which is meshed in Dreamatic. Here I'm gonna use two methods for assigning the material. So stay with me until the end of this video. I have a tibia bone here as you can see. Also, I've got the equations of its density and Young's modulus based on HU values. For those of you who don't know what is HU or Hansfield unit, Hansfield scale is a semi-quantitative method of measuring X-ray attenuation. Typical HU values are from minus 20 to minus 150 for adipose tissue and 20 to 50 HU for kidney. In other words, it's a relative quantitative measurement of radio density used by radiologists in the interpretation of computed tomography or CT scan images. Alright, as you've seen in previous videos, we only need volume mesh. So from here, I import mesh, tibia.inp, open. I've created this INP file before in Trematic software. So when you import mesh, you can find it in FEA tab here. As you can see, the material has not been assigned yet. By clicking on the eye icon here, you can change the visibility of the object. I want to assign material for tibia. So I right click on tibia, select materials. From this box, I can assign the materials based on the HU values or grayscale value. To do it more precisely, I limit the material assignment to respective masks that I've generated earlier. Here, right tibia. I will have three types of material, cortical or compact bone, cancellous or spongy bone, and the fat layer in the middle of medullary canal. So by clicking on the plus, you can add three materials. All right. For the first material, as you can see, the grayscale values are least, so it must be the fat layer. By clicking on density, I'll be able to give the value of that. Please, please, please pay attention to the units. Since I'm using SI millimetric units in my simulation, so I should convert all of my values to that system. Here for density, I'm using ton per millimeter cube. And for Young's modulus or E, I'm using megapascal. Checking this box, I give one megapascal to fat layer and the Poisson ratio. Since the values for all layers are the same, I can reduce this to one layer. Also, I change the maximum value for grayscale to this. You can obtain these values for grayscale ranges for each material from papers or by drawing profile line from here. All right, now let's go to the second material, spongy or cancellous bone. Here, I change the maximum bound to this value. And now I'm gonna use the equation for the density. Pay attention to the units. And here, for Young's modulus, and the Poisson ratio. All right. And for the third material, which is cortical or compact bone, And now hit the apply button. Now if you check your object, you can see the material has been assigned properly. After this, you can close this box. You can click on export, select abacus, and here you choose tibia, click add, and check these two boxes. Especially when you have multiple objects and you have done this process for each of them, make sure to check these two boxes. Unless when you import your file in Abacus software, you'll see many errors and sometimes no material at all. So make sure to check these two boxes by clicking on OK. And the first method is done. Also, you may use offset method for separating cortical and cancellous bone layers from each other and then limit your material assignment to compact or spongy masks. Also from here, you can see that you can use another method, like here, homogeneous. For example, when you have a plate for fracture or something, 
and it has the same value for each mechanical property. Thank you for being with me so far in the video. If you have any question or suggestion, just leave a comment below and feel free to reach out via email. If this video was useful for you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for next episodes.